Yes, yeah, so it'll go on YouTube in a little bit. If you already subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you saw I posted one this morning already. Right? It's just a little while ago for my geometry. So I'll do that for y'all right now. Okay, so verbal expressions. This is your algebraic expression. Turn it into the verbal. Basically, read it through from left to right, like you would read a regular sentence. And in this part right here, it just translates into the words. Three, they're next to each other, times x to the fourth power. There it is. This one is five times z to the second power, or z squared, plus 16. We covered these, so let's continue. Guys, week number one, thank you, God. It's almost over. Lunch is next. Very important, lunch. Okay, so next thing right here, I ask you how to copy these things down, write them down. Addition keywords that kind of simplify, or not simplify, simplify, uh, symbolize, make uh, kind of think of these things for addition are more than, sum, plus, increased by, added to, total, together, you know, and, the word and, subtraction, less than, subtract from, difference, decreased by, minus, all those remind you or think of, or make you think of subtraction. Multiplication, product by, multiplied by, times of, division, quotient of, divided by. Okay, so then we kind of got to this one. Now we got the verbal expressions, and we come out here and look at the, the verbal two um, algebraic. When you see more than, that goes at the end. So T more than, that goes at the end. Six goes in the front. Okay. The so 10 less than, once you see that word, then goes in the back. So 10 less, right there. The product of 7 and F, 7 and F, product, multiplying, right there in front. Two-thirds, obviously two-thirds, of multiplication, the volume B. Talk to me. So we have the question. We're good. Okay, Jasmine, glad, glad you could join us. Okay, let's come out here. Today, you guys, it's going to say here. Okay, this is where we left off. We're starting, or maybe, maybe about to go into this, but let's go ahead and take, take off from here. Okay, so variables can be uh, can represent quantities that are known and quantities that are unknown. They're also used in formulas, expressions, and equations. We will do a lot of formula stuff, guys. Okay, sports marketing. Mr. Martinez ordered 250 keychains printed with his athletic team logo and 500 pencils printed with a, their web address. I'll write an algebraic expression that represents the cost of the order. Okay. So he's going to order stuff just FYI, and he's going to order different types of stuff. I'm already thinking what? You can see? When I see that, and I'm thinking, oh, they're going to order them together, I'm going to have a big plus sign. So this is the answer right here. I'm having this big plus sign. And just kind of put that stuff together. Okay, when you're talking about keychains, you know you're going to have 250 of them. But what kind of variable? When I said they put X a while ago or the other day, just because they felt like it. They really just felt like it. So you could put 250x if you want. But if you think about this, since we're talking about keychains, let's kind of keep our, our brain in the, you know, in that mindset. Oh, keychain. So we'll put a K. And remember that, they're ordering something else. And they're ordering 500 what? 500 Ys? Well, they really could. But to keep our minds, you know, like kind of okay with the story and going with, with what, we're going to keep it as a P. So there it is. This is what they would be ordering. Going once, going twice. Do you have any questions? Does it make sense? Hopefully it does. Again, I'll tell you why I chose K, why the book chose K, why the book chose K is really, I don't know, but to me it makes sense to go to K. And I went to the K because it kind of, well, key change goes with it pretty good, K. And then I went with a P because of the pencils. The pencils, again, obviously, well, I want to keep my mind tracked. Uh, I guess tracking the idea of how many pencils. Well, 500 would be going next to the P for pencils. Yeah, it works perfect. And then I'm going to order them together, right? So the cost of the order, all of it together, would be adding them together. Hopefully that makes sense. Do you have any questions? No? All right, I like that. Y'all are good, ready to rock and roll. Let's do number three. Okay? Let's try number three. Please write that out in your spiral. Yes. And then just write the answer. And then do me a favor, write it in the chat, what y'all think.
Am stă aici, vei veni aici. Ei, oriunde mai. Okay, guys, how about this? Uh, can y'all hear me? Can y'all put something in the chat? Are y'all still copying it down? Oh, you can? Good. Thank you, Tristan. Okay, anybody have an answer? Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's do it fast. So in the coffee shop, 40p. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why 40p? Jasmine, why'd you go with p? I'm with you on that one. Pastry, for sure. Okay, and then c. Why would c? I need to go with that. Coffee. Excellent. Uh, that's it, guys. You got it right. I'm more than sure I'll get the correct one. And then that'd be, you know, like that's kind of why they have those variables. That's why we go with X's and Y's. Maybe X's and Y's because we're just talking about whatever. And then maybe how about this? They just didn't want to and they learned X and Y's. But if we can as individuals here and kind of help us keep our brains, you know, straight as far as this question, P would be great for pastries. And then X, um, sorry, C would be awesome for coffee. There it is. And you guys kind of idea, make sure, make sure you know that they're going to go in order, both of them together, so you have that plus sign in the middle. Keep it up, guys. Excellent. Switch it to your account. Okay, for today, this is what we're going to do together. Uh, Try on the page. We're going to do a couple of these together. Okay, yes, it's going to be a lot of writing-ish. But let's go ahead and start on numbers one, two, and three. So in your spiral, remember you're supposed to be continuing your spiral. Uh, you would have, uh, I guess, this page like this. I'm more than sure you all have some writing somewhere. <laughs> Just go ahead and put here and then put, uh, you know, work. Put the work. We're going to do work for right now. Okay. This work goes right now. These are all basically, if you think about it up here, have been your notes. Now we're going to do the work. So we're going to go one, and then we'll do number two, and then we'll do number three. However you want to organize this one, two, three, if you want to do one here and two here and three here and four there, that's fine. But make sure you know you have a whole spiral to use. Don't be crapping it off together where it's kind of like, oh, I can't read it or we can't read it or you think, like, oh, why, what's going on? You know, just make sure you go ahead and kind of separate it nice where you can go ahead and work it out. And then go back to re referring to this for your notes and for your cheat notes or whatever it is. This is the main Okay, let's go ahead and start. Do one, two, and three, guys, and I'll call on y'all at random. I'll give you maybe about a minute for each, a minute to win it. Hey, it's PE. You better be up working out. I want to hear. Right now it's PE. So you're freaking working out. All right. You're doing that jump. Get over there and work out. No, just we can do it. Hey, right there so I can see you. Put a pillow up, watch the thing, and do it. Okay, guys, help me out. Let's do this. Leilani, you're right there on my screen in the front. What would I write for number one? Remember, this is one verbal. We're writing the words that go with these things. I like it. 
two times m. Uh, anybody else want to help out? Is there another way of saying the same thing? Okay, two multiplied by m. Anybody else? Okay, I'll say this much we can we can say the product of two and m. Um, you know, I guess several ways of saying that. Good job. Let's go number two. Marlon Sanchez, help me out. How would I do number two now? What would I write? Hey, Marlon, are you there? Keep on on. Keep on watching. Oh. Kind of weird. Alex and Gutierrez, help me out. What do I do next? What would I write for number two? Okay, Isabella Rodriguez. Isabella, help me out. Oh, you can't? I'm sorry about that. Okay. That's fine. Okay, how about this, guys? Let's write it in the chat. Yes? I guess y'all are shy, but we need to come out here and be practicing these things. So if we write it down in the chat, write it down what, what you think. Yeah, that means everybody. Write it in your chat, guys. If you don't write it, Ronald, you're just wasting time. I like that. Good job, Dominic. Yes, we're going to go with two. Two thirds times R to the fourth power. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, that's good. I think I like the chat better. You all are better for it, or I guess, in responding and answering the chat. Perfect. Let's do number three. Do number three already in the, in the chat. Let's go. Answer it up in the chat. Kristen, good job. I like Leah. I like Christopher's answer. They put A squared. Perfect. A squared means this part. Perfect, guys. That's awesome. I'm glad you see that. Minus uh, 18 times B. Okay, so hopefully y'all can hear me. Now, I'm just going to save these other ones. If you see the whole thing, what does that mean right there in the middle for me? A difference. So you could say the difference of A squared and 18 times B. You could say 18 times B less than A squared. Okay, so there's other ways of saying it, slash writing it out. So you got to be ready to catch them or understand how you, they, they could say it or write it or try to get it across to you. So there's a lot of different ways. Just, you know, you be aware. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, so let's come on here to number, write the, the, the directions out okay. so Write an algebraic expression for each verbal expression. Okay, so write that one out. Write an algebraic expression. Go ahead, do number four.
Okay, write them down and answer them. And uh, you can put the answer for number four. You want to do them outside? You can. Okay, Tristan, awesome. You're right, man. That's good. A number N plus 14. Some people wrote 8 plus 14. Uh, Yasmin, uh, Y plus 14 equals Z. So they don't have an equal sign in the Yasmin, so I wouldn't put the equals. Just like that, just some expression. No equal sign, so no equal. Okay, uh, number five, let's look at number five. Write that one down, do it to it, and see what you get. Hey, let's see your workout, let's go. I'm going to get upset at you. You need to do it right. Come on. We'll take them off and you can hear. Okay, I think we're doing number five. No, guys, up here. Yeah, five. I think somebody I'll put the answer for six. Okay, six less a number T. So on this one right here, I'm glad they put that one there. Okay, so number six, I'm gonna give you the answer. If they were to put the word then, you would have the minus six, okay? Uh, you would have six less than T. Basically, it doesn't have that, so it wouldn't go back there. So you'd have 6 minus T. Okay. Okay, so if you think about this one, it says 6 less a number T. So they're saying you have the number 6, and you're lessing it, making it go down by the number T. If you wrote this right here, if you wrote t minus 6, if you really think about this, you're saying this now is taken away from t. So the resulting whole thing would be 6 less than t. Okay? So if you wrote this one, good try. You didn't get it right, though. This would be the correct answer over here. Hopefully that made sense. Okay? Since you don't see the then, it doesn't go at the end. Okay? Any questions on that one? That's a good one. That was a good, how do I say it? Good little trick question. I like that one. Okay, try seven now, or try six, guys. Number six. Okay, seven more than the 11. Seven more than 11 times the number. Okay, final answer for that one. I see a lot of good answers. Dominic, Christopher, real good, real fast, excellent. So uh, I'll throw it in this green one. So you see seven more than, once you see that then, that's going to go at the end. So plus seven. Eleven times the number, eh, any number you want. W, X, Y, and that's six. That's the way you read that one. Good job, Ruby. Good job, everybody. Okay, excellent. Uh, next one, number seven. Let's do number seven now. Okay, put it in there, guys. Let's do number seven.
Okay, so divide uh, would be, I guess right underneath the question mark, that simple. Okay, so the right answer, let's go. I see a bunch of stuff out there. One minus, one minus the quotient of R and seven. The quotient is this part here. R divided by seven. R divided by seven. There's your answer. Okay, so let me, when they say that quotient of R and seven, so you would say one half, right? Or one over two. So you always say this one first. So when they're saying the quotient, that means they're dividing, which gives you this idea, you know, that fraction idea. So if they name that one first, that one goes on top, and that one goes on the bottom. Okay, guys, that one kind of threw everybody off a little bit. How about number seven? Does anybody need more clarification? You want me to do it again? I can. I'll just do it one more time. Okay, I'm going to read it straight up the way it comes. So the one minus gives me that one minus. This part, the quotient, what I know is I'm going to have a division. Okay? I'm going to have a division here. So this is that part that I underlined that gives me one minus. This part here is a underlined this squeaky kind of idea. Quotient means to set up as a division. And the R will go on top because they named it first. Seven will go on the bottom because they named it first. And there's your final expression. Okay, eight. Let's try number eight now. Okay, Jasmine, so what they want, Jasmine, what they want is a, sorry about that, they want a, 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 an expression, something like, like, uh, like this, like this, or like any one of these down here. Oh, okay, I get you. Okay, Tristan, they want the numbers. I guess it's kind of hard for you to write, right? Let me just give you the answer. Ooh, I like the yes. Ooh, okay, let's look at this. Two fifths of the square of a number J. So here, two fifths of, I want to go to say two fifths of means to multiply the square of a number J. So they want that J squared. So you can do it like this two fifths. J squared. I think that's a good one right there. Okay, let's do the last one, number nine. Do number nine real quick. I get you, Jasmine. Now I get you. Okay, cool. So this right here is n, let me change color. n cubed. <laughs> Increased by five plus five. But you're killing me because we weren't even on this question yet. Jeez. I think being random and then finally you get the random answer. 
Sophia, how do you do that? Oh, I like it. What kind of device are you using? Oh, okay, yeah. I like Android. It's super cool. Okay, Priscilla, cubed is the power of three, okay? So, yeah, in case you didn't get that before, squared is like this, x squared, okay? If you go with cubed, I'm just going to use a variable x, okay? It's like saying x to the third power. I'll explain to this later why, why, why that comes about. Okay, number 10, guys. Oh, you know what? It's lunchtime. What do you think? Let's ask 10 fast, fast, really quick. Mr. Bailey purchased some groceries that cost D dollars. He paid with a $50 bill. Write an expression for the amount of change he will receive. Okay, just write down real quick. Write an expression for the amount of change he will receive. I'll tell you this much, when I give money back or get money back or when I give and I want money back, something happens. What operation am I thinking about? I would be thinking about subtraction. So I know this, I'm gonna have something here and minus something here and then what I get back is my change. So what would I be giving the person and what would they be subtracting? Yes, I like it. 50 minus D. That's it. Good job, Matt. Because I know I gave him 50 bucks. How much is he taking away? He's taking away the D amount for the groceries or dollars. That's it, guys. Have a good, what, weekend? Party on. Be safe. Bye, con Dios.